Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm your host, Let's Player, uh, Mega Nintendo Wolf. Um, I would have been doing the Battle Tin on this episode, but, um, the minimum, well, the level of their Pokemon is minimum level 30, and I'm not quite there yet. Maybe it's because I'm underleveled? So I think I'm just going to continue progressing through the game for now, at least until my Pokemon get to level 30. Because... I won't be able to handle it. I mean, look at me. My highest Pokemon is level 23. Then 22, then 21. Uh, here we have a double battle between these people. Probably an Aroma Lady and a Picnicker. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and continue up along this route. Route 111. <coughs> Hopefully to just progress. Um, we'll be heading towards Falabor Town, which is in the very north of the region, north, left, uh, north, west. Um, so hopefully it shouldn't take too many episodes to get there, but who knows, maybe, maybe not. But it's still quite a distance and there are a lot of trainers on the way, so there are going to be at least three or four parts. Ooh, Sandshrew died, even though it's really cute and I love the brick pattern all over his body. Now I've just got to take down this uh, Roselia. Oh, rapid poison me. Um, poisoned? No, what's his name? Paralyze. And I use Leech Shot. Swiftly use Leech Shot. Rather. Even though it does very little. I wonder if I should be switching money out. Just in case it tries to use Mega Drain. Oh, Pup and all its infinite uses. Yeah, I should switch out, but my loss, I'll just have to switch out now, because there is no option, of course, to my Tiana, my plant eater. See? Maybe it's because all the plant types in this generation have low defense? I don't know. Roselia doesn't have that high defense. When it evolves in the next generation into Ros Raid, it gets, gets good special defense. I know that much. And special attack has got the um, highest special attack of all grass types, along with Executor. Even though Ros Raid is actually better because of um, it's got far more speed. But it also has nice special defense as well. I, when I was raising grass types, um, I had a Ros Raid, but I raised it more in special defense in order to get toxic spikes out, which was a really sneaky strategy. Because it took out, it takes out teams basically. You just need to stall them after that. It's ingeniously evil. Um, come on, take this little flower out. Ooh, I just realized it's. Damn it, run off really bosses and it's dead now anyway. Never mind. Hopefully my swift wing should evolve soon. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And is it look at her nose, it's creepy at the aroma lady if you look close at the sprite. Uh, I think my Pokemon need healing, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. And um I healed up my Pokemon. I uh, haven't got that too far to go till it gets to level 19, then one more level till it's level 20. Hopefully I should be able to get it there in this episode, but I don't know. Here we have another double battle. Um, a Picnicker and... Ooh. Um, that sounds like a hiker music, not guitarist. No Timberman or... What's it called? Kindler. Looks kind of cool, I guess. We should be expecting more fire type trainers now since they're entering the vicinity of the volcano. So just that's something to be noted of if you raise a bug type or a grass type. That we're going to be seeing more fire types now. And ground types as well, of course, because the desert up ahead. But I'll cover the Pokemon on that, on the desert, a little bit later when we can actually go there. Because at the moment, it's blocked by a giant sandstorm and all our eyes if we go anywhere near so yeah 
I mean, no one likes sand in our eyes, that's so horrible. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, um, this other kid I knew threw sand in my face, and it, it got my eyes, and it hurt so much. And it took ages to get it out. I guess that's a thing with the brainy stuff. Let's switch out to Matiana. Because, I mean, it is a shroom, and we know Matiana's a shroom muncher. Lol. And we lower its attack. Yeah, even though it would be better if it was a prelude, I lower its attack because, um, that's when it starts to get more physical moves. Even though it would be a fighting time, so it would be a bad idea to switch she will out now. Yeah. And he's leeching me, that's not good. Um, I just gonna have to need to take that out quick. Because I don't really want to switch with Queen out, because I want the experience on him. Come on, she wolf you can do it. Do it for swiftly. Wow, oh, pretty quick. Sweet. And, nah, three times. Oh, here's good. That is flinch. Sweet. Um, yeah, you two are an awesome tag team. As I said, in Carter, or Shedinja with a Mike, uh, Mikey Anna with a Shedinja on his back, flying about, super speed, super attack, boom, shake the room, and that sort of stuff. The merry old jazz. And... Oh, la la la, there's a lot to take, and blah blah blah, what else did she say? Uh, let's... No, wait, don't want to get my item. An elixir. Uh, right, if we go up to this guy, he'll tell us about that family house. If we go along here, that's the this is the trainer hill, uh, featured first in Pokemon Leaf, Leaf Green Fire Red, but we'll get to this after Pokemon League because it doesn't open yet. Um, over here, up uh, well, up here, we have um, rocks that need smashing to continue on this route. And in this house over here, we have four trainers, or a family of four who battle people. So, yeah, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, fun fact of the day, these people over here, uh, they're actually the family of Stephen Stone. So, yeah. Would have expected they're good trainers then, I guess. Even though the father of the family is kind of weak. No wait, um, Mr. Stone of the Devon Corporation, does that mean he's the brother of this guy? I know, I know the grandson of the old lady in this house is supposed to be, um, uh, Stephen Stone's grandson or grandma thing. So does that mean he's like a cousin? Uh, this is Stephen's uncle? I don't know. I'll probably have to look into it. And he's taking down this swallow, swallow, Taylor, pretty well. Even though it is kind of got half damage on him at the moment. But he's dead anyway. Next Pokemon, please. Ooh, am I going to level up? Yes, 19. Just one more level, and he'll evolve. Mind reader. Uh, yeah, that's basically like lock on. Your next attack you'll use after this will never miss. Unless they use protect or detect. Um, good move if you have a very high power move. Like Zap Cannon or something. Wait, no, ranks. Back in the ranks or something. I don't think I'll have to worry too much about this if he's doing. He should be taken down in a couple of hits. Ooh, critical hit. Sweet. I'm glad it counts individually as a critical hit, because you see critical hits with that move so often. And he's eating a berry, which will restore 20 HP, I think. Come on, you can do this with wing. I believe in you. 
better travel off because switch out. Do it, muddy. I always sound like little cool slogans at the bottom when you send out your Pokemon. Go, muddy. Your foe's almost weak. Your foe's weak. You get, finish them off, muddy. Or do your thing, muggy, muddy. Ooh, yay, level up. That is sweet. Um, yeah, okay. Hey y'all, I found a pretty strong trainer. Oh my goodness, I'm you yet, yeah. You must be quite a trainer to beat my husband, though. His legs are nearly bound now. Yes, so we battled the wine for what I presume is the wine. Winstrud Victoria would like to battle, okay. And she's sending out the Rosary, Rosary, not the Uh, I'll send out my she -wolf because, well, as I said, gone, don't you? Even though I shouldn't be saying that because that's, I am Brass Master. Anywho, that move drone shouldn't do too much on me. Not that it healed back anything anyway. Come on! Oh wait, you're faster than me, right? Crap. No wait, are you? Okay, yeah, if it starts using growth, or if Pokemon uses growth, then Mega Drain. Um, growth... Ooh, yeah, even Growth raises your um, special attack by two stages. So you'll be doing more damage with that Mega Drain, and you'll be healing back a lot more since the initial, initial attack does more damage. And yay, level up. She will put the level 22. Uh, raw, mm, it's it's a move that can become useful in a pinch, so I'll get rid of sand attack for it, I think. Yeah, sand attack would be a good one. Oh, tackle, tackle's one that should be used, because I, I might need sand attack in the future. Raw. Basically, raw makes your opponent switch out at the end of the turn. But it makes you go last. There's a strong trainer here. This one, this one's really strong. You're stronger than mommy, what? Well, but I'm strong too, really honestly. Uh, now we seem to be battling this woman's daughter. Winston Vivi. Hey, her name's Vivi. Like the person from Final Fantasy IX. Sweet. But I still think I'm gonna switch. Uh, get out there, Shroomy, because I need, um, you, well, no one else on my team is really that great against water types, so you might as well get out. And who else can gain health from opponents? It would be really smart for her to switch out, but it would have been a smart idea. And especially not use a move that like, did, like, two damage. Seriously. I wonder what it feels like to be Mega Drain. I mean, you're getting the life sucked straight out of you. Or is that more of a plant thing where it's sucking the nutrients? I don't know. Maybe it's in the sort of way where plants are sometimes get into uh, the water pipes and start absorbing the water around them. Hmm, don't know. I wonder if it'll say anything on Wikipedia. Because they usually have good trivia tidbits on there. And water gun, because that's going to be four times effective since you're a flying ground type. What for what? Uh, perhaps send out Shroomish. Yes, I'm going to switch. <laughs> Go, Shroom Muncher. I mean, she will. Level 15 shouldn't be that hard to beat, and it's attack slower. But oh well. Fine. Come on. Yay, good girl. What? Sleep? I don't want to sleep. Oh, and that was me just yawning. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. That would have been its move. Come on, wake up, she wolf. I know shrooms get you psychedelic and all, but. 
addition. I wonder if magic mushrooms make people fall asleep eventually. I know they make um, give people delusions or not delusions. Uh, no, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, it makes people see things basically. I know they do that. I've always wondered what they taste like, but they're illegal and they apparently are very bad for your health. Ah, I didn't lose! What? It stinks! Snivel hammer! Yeah, apparently, like, you can have vision, um... You, like, see stuff even, like, so many years after you've eaten or something, I don't know. Maybe that was just my brother's way of trying to scare me away from it, but I was like, kind of time when I said, I wonder what magic mushroom steaks like. No, no, no. But who knows? Um, okay, we've got Grandma over here. She's got out a Meditite. Even though for someone of her, uh, her age should have high level Pokemon, like level 18, unevolved. I mean, seriously. And it's intimidated, yay. Let's hope it doesn't use a fighting type of... Ooh, I live! Okay, she will we need you to make this person flinch. Come on! Oh, damn it. Okay, no worries, I have five other... Well, four other Pokemon. <sighs> I'm yawning like crazy now, what is this? It's the sleep spore powder that... Used. Oh, come on, detect! Seriously? Well, at least it has a 50% chance more likely a fail next time if it uses a consecutively. That goes same for protect. Except it got lucky. Come on, hit it, hit it. No. Come on, hit it. Good boy. Anyone else? No, just that one person. Coco, your strong regret was right. If you're really not in any hurry, visit us a while. Yes, if we go in here and talk to them, they will give us something. Well, most likely. Yes, her grandson is Stephen Stone. Your first trainer! You're the first trainer I've seen in a while, but my son is something and I've lost the text now, so I can't read. Uh, maybe it's the mother who gives us an item. Someone in this house gives me an item, I'm sure of it. Ah, yes, the matchup race. Uh, this item, uh, basically it promotes EV growth when EV training your Pokemon. EV the individual value, not the thing. I think I'm going to cut it off here for this episode though. Thank you for watching and see you next time.